Captain Fletcher with us here. Um, there's a lot of talk that something's going on, and I haven't been able to find evidence that specifically unions are getting in touch with Poison or whatever, but the buzz is, as you know, the buzz is somehow, even if it's just a suggestion, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge kind of thing, and nod, nod, whatever they're doing, uh, the unions are really big time against Whitman, which I think is telling in oh, itself. Yeah. And then you've yep. got some, if not direct coziness there's implied coziness on the poisoner side and jerry brown's got to be sitting back going yeah just like he did when he talked to the unions earlier this year and said we'll let you guys fight this out so there's something going on there and i haven't been able to pin it what do you think's happening and do you have any evidence well i, I think they know that meg meg is, is the one candidate i mean when you have one candidate who constantly changes their position uh i, I think i think that implies that person would, would be a weak governor when you have another candidate who stands up and says as meg has done we're going to rein in the spending we're going to have to deal with the pensions. We're going to make the difficult cuts and decisions. Um, I, I think it's clear which candidate that the Democrats would, would like to face in November and, and which candidate they think is weaker. Um, and we've seen this playbook before. You know, I, I think Republican voters should be leery any time you see a, a group of Democrats and a group of labor unions come into a Republican primary and attack one of the candidates in the primary. Uh, and I think Steve Poison is playing right into their hands.